Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a code blocks table. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, step one is to visit Tinkercad and switch to code blocks. When you get there, we're going to click create new code block. When this window appears, we're going to choose new design. When the design opens, let's change it to the name table. If you want to put your initials after it, you may. And then in code blocks, we always create new objects. Well, we're going to make this with the first object being called a top. So it'll be the top of the table. This whole lesson is going to be kind of fun because I'm going to show you how adjustable these code blocks are. We're going to build our first table because we'll make more than one with the box. When you bring it out, stretch it out. And then for our first table, I want these measurements. I'm going to go 30 by 40 and I want to make it four millimeters thick. I do want my edges rounded, so I'm going to give it a 2, and I like the edge steps of 10. If you hit play, you can see that that is my table. Now I really wanted the rectangle to go the other way, so I'm going to change it to 40 by 30. Remember when you hit reset and play, it redraws. So remember friends, code blocks always draws at 0, 0, so half of this is below. I'm going to get it to 0, 0 by doing a move and my thickness was four, so I'm gonna raise it up two, speed it up, and when I hit play, you can see now my table is at zero, zero. I'm also going to quickly pick a color that I think is cool for my table. And once again, hit play. Friends, the next part of a table is to have legs. So once again, we're gonna create the object and rename it leg. We'll only have one of these, and then we'll use these in the final part to have all the legs. I'm going to make my table legs with a box. When I bring it out, I am going to do 4 by 4, and I'm going to make it 30 high. If we hit play, you can see that is my table leg. Now remember, we have to raise it up half the height to get it up to 0, 0. I am going to do that right now with a move. Remember we had 30, so we're going to put 15 right here. Now when we hit play, we've got the tabletop way down low, and we've also got a leg. So friends, the last piece is to make our table. We are going to rename this table, and then we need to use the parts. So first I'm going to add a copy of the top. When you bring in the add a copy, find your data and we're going to add that top right there. Friends, now that we've got the top, we need to move it. Remember the height of our leg is 30, so we're just going to raise it 30. When we hit play, poof, it is right where it's supposed to be. We just need to get rid of the original. We're going to do that right here. Delete object and get rid of the top. Now we're going to add a copy of the leg. When we bring this in, we need to change its location. Remember our whole shape is 40 by 30, so that means out here is 20 and this way is 15. So what we're gonna do is take away about four. I'm gonna put a move here. I'm gonna make this negative 16 and I'm gonna make this negative 11 and hit play. So now you can see that leg comes out pretty nifty on the edge of the table. This is our original. To make this easier to tell the difference, I'm gonna make these a cooler color. So you'll always be able to see this is my new leg. This is the one that, that I will delete when I'm finished. So friends, all we do now is duplicate and see how these were both negative negative. We need to make one of them negative positive. If we hit play, now we've got both of those sides. So we did both of the negative 16s. I'm gonna duplicate all of those. So now I've got four legs. And then since these were both negative, these have to be positive. It's that easy. If you hit play, there is our table. We clean it up by getting rid of the last leg with a delete leg, the data, and deleting the leg. Hit play, and friends, you have got a fantastic table, just like that. Friends, once you've got your table created, if you hit export, you can export it as a part. I'm gonna name it table, 
and then I'm going to save that shape so it can be used in all my Tinkercad projects. You'll notice I didn't turn on lock scale. That's because I want to grow and shrink it to fit whatever project I'm created. You do need to make sure that your colors are what you want before you do that. Or whenever you wanted different colors, you could come back into code blocks and export another one. Friends, you can also make this table into a different shape. Friends, real quick, I am going to throw out my rectangle. And instead, I'm going to bring in a cylinder. I'm going to take this radius and remember how this was 40. I'm going to go uh, 23 on this and I want the height to be 4. I'm going to do sides of 64 so that it's smooth. I am going to give it an edge of 2 and I want an edge step of 10 so it's rounded. I'm going to put the same move in here and I'm going to pick brown and friends when we hit play boom instant round table as well. Because I did 23, that means it sticks out past because the other one had the 40. So just a little bit of math and all of a sudden I've got a round table as well. Just for fun, I'm going to make the colors on this different. I'm going to give it a white top and I'm going to give it black legs. And I'm also going to export it so I could use it in any project. Once again, when you hit play, make sure it does what you want. That is how I want it to look. When you hit export part, and this one's going to be called round table. And once again, do not lock the part size, hit save shape, and it'll be ready to use in regular Tinkercad. Alrighty, friends, I hope you had a total blast with that. Don't forget, if you want to reach out, you can find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Lastly, there's a ton of cool stuff you can find if you visit the HLModTech.com website. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.